Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about a topic that, that I believe many of you can relate to. Making mistakes when, when buying product to resell online. I currently have 1300 active lists and I'm going through them one by one through each box that I have and seeing which ones are worth keeping and which ones or not. I started with 1400 active listings and I've gone through about half of my boxes that I have. I want to share my experience and why I'm moving on from these mistakes. I started my reselling business a few years back. I want to say I'm on my fifth year and like many others I was looking for a product to resell online. I did my research, found some promising products, made a lot of purchases. However, soon after I realized I had made some mistakes. So I've gone through about half of my boxes that I have and I'm currently still going through them as you can tell and I'm getting rid of the items that aren't valuable or were just bad buys. And let me tell you, there have been quite a few of those. <laughs> So here are some items that I am getting rid of donating. I'm just going to donate it to the local church thrift store I have down the street from me. Um, they help out the community. They, they give away clothes, food, anything that they get donated. They always help the community first, especially the ones that really need it. That's where I always donate my stuff. I don't even donate to Goodwill anymore. Anyways, okay, so I'm getting rid of this DKNY tank top. It is new with tags and this has sat for I think three years now and I believe I got this in a B and G trading my first B my first and last B and G trading box so that didn't sell I mean I think I only sold like three items so I'll never buy one of those and that's another thing that I am changing up this year I am not gonna be buying mystery boxes especially from like thread up because a lot of the items that i'm getting rid of are from those mystery boxes and jomar like i, I don't i will not buy anything from jomar anymore i don't even know if they're if they're a company anymore um just mainly thread up and you know all those places now i might buy one once from thread up but i don't see myself doing that anytime soon no idea where i got this but nobody wants to look like a greek goddess anymore so I'm getting rid of this. I have, I know I've relisted this a lot of times and it just sat. So I'm ready to move on and hopefully somebody at my local church thrift store will like it. This I know I got in a throw oak box and this is the reason why it didn't sell. It's because it's a petite small, but it is a two piece pajama set. pretty lightweight they are 100% cotton but I don't want them anymore they're not selling <laughs> another item that came from a throttle bulk box is this Michael Starr's one size which this cannot fit everyone <laughs> so I think that's why I did sell because I have had success selling this brand but recently it just has not and selling good so I'm moving on from it here's an item I got from Jade without fashion without trash or, or whatever it is this diesel but as I was going through this box I noticed a huge stain crusty stain so I'm just going to donate this and have somebody else take care of that because it has been sitting and sitting without any luck selling and I don't even know what the material content is so not worth my time anymore and it's been I think two years, three years. So another item that I have no idea where, where it came from but it's loft and I am very very selective with loft. I typically only pick it up if it's cute. Well, I think it's cute. And if it's a larger size. Another item. This is Anthro. And as you know, Anthro has gone downhill extremely quick. So 
And this is an item that I think I bought to resell um, during the pandemic because I needed inventory. <laughs> and I found this on Poshmark to resell and that was a mistake because it has not sold. Another item that I got in a throw out bulk box, this completely sheer, you can't really tell, but it is very sheer. H&M blouse. Very lightweight, but I don't pick up H&M anymore. Same with this brand. I do not like selling this brand anymore. Even their jeans, like their jeans just sit and sit and sit. So I'm done. I'm over it. I want it gone. Here's another item that I got in a mystery box. And it's actually new with tags. I do not like selling bridesmaids dresses. I really do not. I made the mistake of buying a Jomar Show Me Your Moo Moo maxi dress box. <sighs> I have so many dresses. I know I've pretty, I'm pretty sure I've made my money back on the box, but I still have a lot of dresses left over and I'm trying to get rid of them. And I just might end up donating them all because I don't want them. And this is David's Bridal. This is size two. Nobody's looking for it, so bye-bye. This also came from that same mystery box. It's a uh, Target crop top that also just sat. You'll know why these didn't sell. Zero petite. And they're pretty washed, like worn from wearing them, so bye-bye. This I picked up because it was a dollar at a garage sale and I really wanted to try this brand out. And zero views on ebay zero watchers just everything is zero <laughs> yeah nice thing about ebay is they actually share with you how many views and clicks your item is getting and recently they changed it well i don't know how recently but they changed it to every 30 days now so that's been super helpful here's another item that i got in a mystery box page uh, not just the newer one but the old one skyline size 25 nope another mystery box item it is new with tags but i will never <laughs> buy mystery boxes again because they just sit and this is why i much prefer to shop for myself this was mine um that i actually think i got in a mystery box I'm not sure, but I am no longer an extra small. I am a fatty boom boom. Another thread up bulk box find. Well, this came from another thread up bulk box. This and it's new with tags. It is bejeweled. Nice cute little neckline. I thought it would sell, but nope. These also came from thread up. They are new with tags. They are Zara. For some reason, they are stained on the butt crack, which is kind of weird. Not sure how that happened, and I don't think it's intentional because nobody has bought them. And I don't know if I was able to find a size or a, a similar listing, but it's not selling. And I've had these for like four years. Tommy Bahama, not selling for me anymore. I will pick up their linen pieces though. Silk, not so much. And this had a stain on it somewhere, but I don't want to take the time to find it. I don't pick this brand up anymore either. And this is actually a, a pretty good material content. It's like Angora and stuff and wool. Nope, I won't buy it anymore. It just sits. Not all Banana Republic sells, um, but I typically have pretty good success selling the men's Banana Republic. But this I found at the bins. I picked it up because it was lightweight and silk. I thought it would sell, but I think the color is just awful. That's why nobody wants it. I also found this at my church thrift store, actually, I think. But it just goes to show you that even if the brand is popular, it's sometimes it's just gonna sit and it won't sell. And this is Free People. But to be fair, Free People has gone down in value a lot because it is very oversaturated. And this is a very old piece, so I'm happy to get rid of this. This is also another setup book box. Find gift, I don't know. Bogner sounds a lot like booger. 
and this is just a really ugly <laughs> plaid button up and somebody decided to alter it in the front i don't know if you can tell but it is altered made to look slimmer i think as you can see so i don't even know why i listed that another what is wrong with me why did i pick this up but they were found at the bins so not much lost there this came in a fashion without trash in box and i did end up finding the the brand but i don't i don't know anything about this brand like it was very hard to find and if i remember correctly it's called rogan and i think it might be like a uk brand maybe i don't know but it has like no scratch that i may be getting it mixed up with something else but it's not a very good brand so i don't remember anything about it it didn't sell i typically like selling this brand only in the larger sizes i will not pick it up especially small petite this is 100 percent linen just that no interest no likes no no views so it's going bye bye this brand used to sell really well not so much anymore i think i'm just gonna get rid of this well no i'm not gonna think about it i am getting rid of it and then this was a brand i found at the bins just to try and i mean this actually did get quite a few likes and stuff but nobody would buy it so i'm gonna get rid of it I don't have time to hold on to these items. I want to make room for the items that I know are going to sell for me. Those are some things that have not been selling for me or have been sitting for a very long time and I'm ready to move on and start over. And there are lots of different reasons why these items didn't sell for me. One reason could be the item size. Maybe it was too big or too small. Or just didn't fit right. Another reason could be the item style. It may have been outdated or not on trend anymore. The brand could also be a factor. If it's not a well-known or popular brand, people may not be interested in buying it. The quality of an item could also be a reason why it didn't sell. Maybe it was poorly made or it had some defects. And lastly, sometimes an item just doesn't sell because the market is oversaturated with similar items. Mom short. Hopefully this video brought some realness to reselling and how it's a learning process. As much as I love it, I still make mistakes. And that's okay because that's how I learn and grow. Sometimes even when you think an item will sell, the item just won't sell. And that's okay too. I've had some items sitting in my inventory for well over two years and I've tried everything from relisting, dropping the price, and even sending offers. And still no bites. And I'm sure a lot of you experience this as well. But at the end of the day, I don't see the value in holding onto an item that aren't selling. Especially when the newer items that I list are selling faster. And it's important to recognize that some items will sell better for others. But I am learning what is working for me and my business, and that's what matters. And even though I've made some mistakes along the way, I still love reselling and will continue to do so. It's important to remember that reselling is a learning process, and it takes time for you to figure out what works for you. But that's the beauty of it. You get to make those happy mistakes and learn from them. <laughs> So I hope this video brought some insight and realness to reselling. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next one. I gotta go finish up packing up this inventory because we are moving out. Bye.